We are here with a very special vehicle with the e-rocket. So what is your impression, e-rocket here on the festival? So we can really see e-rocket as an inspiration. And I think it's an inspiration for a thrill of driving but with a purpose. And the purpose is not only going from the place A to place B, but it's actually caring about the planet and putting your body into motion and as well, you know, using the human power, the green power, in order to commute and show how it can be done differently. You yourself rode the e-rocket. What is the feeling? Can you describe the feeling riding the e-rocket? The feeling is amazing and I think it's very hard to explain it in words. It's much easier when you sit and then feel because the, the, the thrill of driving is much different than any other e-bike because the acceleration is almost equal to an electric car in a way. And I think it's very hard to explain it in words, but I will try because when I got an explanation before I tried, it was amplified for 100% when I sat on the bike and then started driving. But the, the very unique thing is the way of how the pedaling power is transformed into the power for the bike. And you have a thrill of driving which is very unique and you feel like you are on a motorcycle, but you are actually driving a bike. So it's very unique in that sense. Uh, the Indian company Motovolt invested in e-rocket. Why did they do this? It's, it's, a, it's a great question and I think it's a proof of meaningful partnerships as well across the globe. And it's also a commitment towards making micromobility more, uh, let's say, interesting in a way, with more appliance, uh, appliances and then more applications of different various uh, products, and as well building uh, a beauty of German engineering with also the production on the Indian side, which is also raising. And then as well, covering different markets, not only in a sense of high-end products, but as well making the products which can help people improve their lives. Yeah. So let's uh, discuss the Indian market. Why is this market so, so big and so interesting? This market is very interesting because not only the number of people, but the way of how the people commute. So two-wheelers are the main commuting thing in India. And when you see Indian roads, when you see especially rural India and how it's connected, it's all about trade and commuting in between the, the towns. And people should have an option which is much more than a bike and then as well a little bit less than a regular motorcycle. So this is where this fits perfectly because it offers people a chance in a very unique market specification with an answer in a special new technology. So let's uh, take a look to the to the human hybrid technology, the technology of the e-rocket. What is so special about this? The special, what is special about it is that nobody has made it in this way, that you can have something which is almost like a motorcycle in the uh, framework of a bike especially in a sense of what can be the range, which is very important for electric uh, products, but as well in a sense of how much it can carry, how much it can uh, uh, accelerate with, you know, like, let's say, the roads and conditions which you have. So that's a very unique value proposition, and as they say, the best value for the money. Uh, do you see this technology in, in other products? I think that the human hybrid can be a next big thing, which can be applied to many different, you know, products in the future because the way of how these electromotors work and the way of how you are really applying pedaling for a longer distances which is very important is very unique. So where do you see e-rocket in I don't know two or three years? So I see e-rocket as uh, Intel has been in you know like personal computing e-rocket inside and then where it will be who knows. Thank you so much. You're welcome.